Poor pillows and sleeping positions are a major source of neck pain, headaches, shoulder problems and back pain. And we spend a third of our life in bed, so we need to get this right. So today, let's check it out. Hey, welcome to Body Fix Exercises. My name's Stefan. I've been a chiropractor for 27 years and my aim with this channel is to help you understand, prevent and improve musculoskeletal problems. So, let's go. So, sleeping. The number one rule for healthy sleeping is you need to try to keep yourself in a neutral position. This is the neutral position. If you're flexed, extended, laterally flexed, rotated anywhere in your spine, the vertebrae can get stuck in a bad position and it can overstretch the muscles. So sleeping on your stomach is terrible for you. To breathe you have to turn your head to the side and that forces the neck out of the neutral position. And that can cause vertebrae at the top of the neck to get stuck, which is a common cause of headaches. It's also terrible for the low back because it increases the arch of the back, compressing the spinal joints. Sleeping on your back or your side are much better options, so let's have a look at those. Sleeping on your side is good, but it's important that you get your pillow height right. If your pillow is too big, your head is tilted up out of the neutral position. For this reason, I don't like two pillows. If your pillow is too small, or worse still, you don't have a pillow, your head is tilted down, and that's not neutral either. But if you have the correct height pillow, which is usually about 10 or 11 centimetres, then your neck is in a neutral position compared to your spine. Once we have our pillow height sorted, we need to look at our sleeping position. Now the most common sleeping mistake is lying on your side and rolling forward too much. As soon as this shoulder comes forward, our head has to turn to the side to breathe like this. And it's very distorted and bad for the neck. So try to avoid rolling forward. It's also really bad for dribbling, so not a good look. The key to avoid rolling forward is your knee position. If you lie on your side and your top knee is more bent than the bottom one, the knee wants to lean on the bed so we tend to roll forward. To avoid that, try to bend your knees an even amount. If you put a pillow between your knees, it can help and so too can hugging a pillow. Lying on your back is another good sleeping option. With the pillow height, make sure your pillow isn't too big because that'll crane the head forward. I would recommend just sticking to the pillow height that you've chosen for your side sleeping because most people tend to move around a fair bit. If you spend the whole night on your back, you can sleep with a slightly smaller pillow. Lying on your back is quite good for your neck, as long as you don't tend to loll your head to one side. If you have a tendency to do that, a softer pillow that you can sink into can help to support the sides of your head to prevent rotation. Some people will get a sore lumbar spine if they spend too long lying on their back though, because it tends to increase the arch and that can compress the joints in the low back. So lying with a couple of pillows underneath your knees can help with this. And that's it. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I'm asleep. How do I control all this when I'm asleep? I keep changing positions. A sleeping habit is just that, a sleeping habit, and habits can be changed. I'm a chiropractor because I saw a chiropractor when I was young for headaches and he fixed me. But I had to change my sleeping position because I was continually creating the problem again. Now, it might take you three months to change that, but then you'll get sleeping habits that are good and healthy for the rest of your life. So, if you go to sleep in a good position and wake up in a bad position, just go to a good position again and keep doing that until you form a good habit. Now, some of you may have trouble sleeping over the next few nights because you're thinking about it so much. Don't overthink it. Here's a summary. Don't lie on your stomach. Lying on your side is good. Try to bend your legs evenly and put a pillow between your knees to try to stop you rolling forward. Lying on your back is good. Try not to loll your head to one side. If your back gets a little bit sore, put one or two pillows underneath your knees. Go to sleep in a good position. If you wake up in a bad position, go back to a good position. And that's it. 
And my final bit of advice is to never sit in bed to read or watch TV with a head rested up against the backrest because that tends to push the head forward and that restricts vertebra at the base of the neck and causes neck problems. So that's it for today. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. Please comment, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.